Welcome back, Dwayne and Nadia, Food, Travel, and Fun. I'm Dwayne, and I'm Nadia. Nadia. First taste test in a long time, folks. Yeah, we haven't done one in quite a while. So, but today we're gonna do a yep. different one, and um, I think because it's such a favorite, so this has of all the candies, two of the top four best-selling candies right now are M&Ms. So, and they have the number one spot as well with their classic milk chocolate M&M. So, but we thought that it'd be a great idea to kind of show you guys all of the non-traditional flavors that they've got. And there's quite a few. So we've essentially, we've got 10 non-traditional flavors and the three classics. So we're probably gonna start with our classics, right? Mm -hmm. Just to try it. And we've each picked a favorite before we get into it. So for me, I picked key lime pie. Well, you didn't pick a favorite, you're predicting. Um, the, that I expect, We've never correct. I've never had key lime pie. He just thinks he's gonna like I it I think best. that's gonna be my favorite. What's yours? I think it's gonna be the white chocolate you, pretzel bite. Which is, they call snowballs. Yeah. They actually call it white it chocolate snowballs. It reminds me of, snowballs. Pre what was that candy that looks like a pretzel see, and is covered actually, in white chocolate? Let me see, Flips. see, they, they look like a snowball and right. I guess they make them white and blue, so we'll find out. And that's the other thing. So, I bought all of these from the M&M site because it's really the only way to get the full variety, to get everything, and all at one time. Otherwise, I probably would have scoured stores everywhere for God knows how long, and that wasn't really worth it. So we're not gonna eat a bunch of these. We're just gonna try enough to get a taste of each. We'll go, we'll go through it, and I think uh, we'll have some fun, and hopefully, We'll all learn something. We'll Maybe make, we'll save you from buying some bad M&M flavors. Too. Yeah, we might discover, no, I, you know what? We didn't do that. Why don't we do that? What do we think would be our least favorite of all? And you know what? I'm absolutely not going to say it's any of the originals because I like all of the originals. I, I think really my do. least favorite. Oh, I know where mine is. Mine will be caramel. Nope. Dark chocolate mint. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't like mint. I, I'm not a fan of mint, so I have a feeling that'll be my challenge of the day. So. Uh, well, let's. Uh, we'll be right back. We're gonna open up our packages. This will be our test. This will be our baseline, and we're gonna try the baselines. Maybe I'm not even sure which one of the three originals I like the best, but let's find out. I think I like peanut the best. I think I like peanut. Yeah, I might even really like that peanut butter. I really like that M&M. Okay. But we'll see. Anyways, so we have our baselines. So. We're gonna we're gonna rate everything as we go, like we usually do. And I'm starting with the tr absolute traditional, the milk chocolate. Plain milk chocolate, classic taste of childhood and Christmas, because my grandmother always had a big jar of it. Oh, I think the milk chocolate was the original too. I don't think I think it was just a plain old milk chocolate. When I was chocolate. a kid, I only remember the chocolate one. I don't remember the peanut until much later. Yeah, the peanut came along later. I'll give so, the original one a uh, seven. You know what? I'm gonna hold off given that. I'm gonna try all three okay. and see if I can come up with three ratings. But peanut. I, I have to, I do have to get that out. Peanut M&M next for me. Like a little rinse. And you're doing peanut? All right, I'll do peanut too. I love peanut M&Ms. 10. Peanut M&M. It's my favorite. So not far. only gave another texture, but I think actually pushed it more towards like a healthy excuse. I wouldn't, I wouldn't I, go that far. Yeah, because the peanut isn't sugary, isn't sweet, and it's got texture. It's good for you. You can sit down to have some plain peanuts and they're good. They're so good. They're very good. All right. Peanut butter. Now, I won't rinse between the peanut and the peanut butter. Peanut butter. I think they kind of copied um, Reese's, Reese's Pieces when they did this because they noticed people like the Reese's Pieces, so. You know, I need one more. I like peanut butter, mm. but not as much as I like milk chocolate or peanut. I will give it a six. All right. So to me, the three originals are all very high scoring. Mm -hmm. The absolute original, the milk chocolate, I'll give an eight. Okay. The peanut, I'll give a nine. Mm -hmm. And the peanut butter, a seven. Okay. Which they're all good scores. Mm -hmm. But I really do. I, I The peanut, it just really does it for me. And this package comes with all three of the classic types. Yeah. That was the only package of the things we got that actually was a mix like that. Right. The rest of just one, this is what you got. All right, so we put this one aside for now. 
And for those of you wondering, here's a shot of the strawberry milkshake M&M's. I'm just going to grab one or just two. Just grab a couple. Oh, oh, man, they're pink. They look like Did, are they all the, they, oh, they're they different look like colors. Easter Jordan almonds in mini form. Well, that's kind of what I figured was they were going to have a couple different colors. It looks like three colors in this one. I see smell, pink, red, and green. I don't see any other colors in there. Definitely smells like processed strawberry smell. So now this was my toss up between the key lime pie and potential other favorite without ever trying it. So strawberry shake. Very good. Oh, wait, really thick tasting strawberry on the back end. Really good. Well, it's like a white chocolate, right? Yep. It's a white chocolate. It's not unpleasant though. Now that I've gotten past the shock of the processed strawberry flavor. The, it is, it's a bit of a, like a no, it reminds me of quick, strawberry quick. Yeah, but it a still little, reminds me of something they make in a factory. It doesn't taste like a fresh strawberry at all. But not as good as an original to me. Nope. I'm gonna I'm, go close. I like it. I like it just as much as peanut I'm, butter. I'm gonna go, no, I'm gonna go six. I'm gonna go six and that's what I gave peanut butter. Well, I'm glad I didn't pick it as a favorite because the original is better. Right. All right, so I'll go to the next direction. Now, on the list, I, I'm not sure of others. I do have to get a rinse between this. But this is a totally different I flavor. Know, I don't want strawberry infiltrating my next flavor. Strawberry would really throw it off. Yep. This, when I went on their site, they rate, they get uh, reviews from everybody. Mm -hmm. And this fudge brownie, M&M was the only one I saw that got a 100% approval. This one actually came back as 100%. Everybody Wait, let's show liked everybody. Them. The M&M character is actually holding a pan of brownies yep. right on the package. Kind of neat. Oh, yeah. So they, they are using all of their cartoon posts in the packaging. If you look, they have all the different little... They have a name for them, but here, you, you pick your... I'll any, just grab two of these. Chocolate... Fudge brownie? Is that what it's called? It is called fudge just brownie. fudge brownie. And your regular colors, they're big shape, a lot like the um, a lot like the peanut M&M, &M, but just kind of round. Oh. It tastes like the peanut M&M. &M. I'm not getting the brownie. It tastes just like chocolate. It tastes like fudge. No, I think it tastes more fudgy. Like there's a little chew to it. But it tastes fudgy, but it's not a brownie to me. Just fudge. You can call it M&M fudge. That's what it tastes like. The chew is almost like you get with a caramel, like a mo close to a caramelly chew. It's gritty. That might be, yeah. It's more. It's not as smooth as like a caramel. Yeah, this one's not doing it for me. I'm giving not it a five. Fudge brownie gets a five from me. Really? So you say you like the strawberry better than the fudge brownie? Yep, this? I like that one the least of every one we've tried so far. And like I said, this is the only one I got a 100. Hmm. I really like it. I'm going to give it an eight. Wow. I actually, I like that chewy texture. It's, I like the flavor. It's like a real strong chocolate. He, he said chewy. It's gritty though. It has a little, well, a, when you eat a brownie, it's not totally smooth. It has a little bit of but a- it's doughy and cakey. That's not. It's really good. Okay. Don't listen. <laughs> so that's why- Caramel. You know what? Everyone's going to feel different. Oh, wait. Dark chocolate mint's next. Oh, we're going to do dark chocolate mint. Is caramel after that? Now, I can okay. smell the mint already. Let me just okay. bring the package here. It's definitely oh, it's got the, the lady holding it's the, the lady. mint leaves. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's totally, the totally. The mint smell came out of that. When you open the bag. Very strong. <laughs> okay, very I, I smelled strong. mint. You don't even have to put your nose to it. And the, every single one of them is a shade of green, kind of like the green lantern. Oh, okay. All right. They're just, actually, only a couple shades I see. Well, no, there's three. There's a light, a medium, and a dark. Mmm. Mm. So there you go. You got your three shades. Wow. Wait, you're liking this. That's delicious. Oh, my God. It's minty and fresh. <laughs> it has a, the crunchy coating texture. is snappy and chocolatey. Oh, it's really good. No, no inside extra chewy factor. It's just like a dinner mint. But it's, it's not overpowering and, at all. And that's what I was going to say. The mint... It's not subdued, but it's not like it's forward, but not so forward you can't get chocolate. It, it actually makes your breath feel kind of minty it feels, fresh. It feels like an after dinner mint. But the chocolate coating on the after dinner mint, it's really good. It's really good. I knew I was going to like that. I knew it. I was such a skeptic. Um, 
I will give that one a nine only because I don't think you can eat a whole package of it like you can. Oh, with I think one the, the two or three we just ate were there. <laughs> That's it. Limit. No more than two or three. It's we're done. It's definitely, uh, or I will only have like one or two. That's it. I just um, have. I think I had one. Did I? I think I had one, and that's enough. You can eat a. I can eat a handful or a bag full, not not at one time, of the regular M&Ms. That one, a, a couple will do you. Yeah, I can eat one of those little candy packs that you get like at Halloween of the I'm regular M&Ms. No problem. I'm giving no that problem. one a nine. I can't believe you're rating it that high. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the original where I really liked it, and I gotta go a step below. Where would I go? My original? Did I go eight or seven? Eight. Eight for the so this one, an amazingly surprising seven. Wow, you That's, like that one because I as am peanut butter. I am not into mint. Caramel is next, and let's look at this yeah. caramel. Up the picture of the guy stretching the caramel. I'm not a big caramel fan. It's okay. Everybody seems to like it. I like it in small doses, depending on the dessert, the shape, and the colors. You can't tell the difference from peanut, so don't com combine them. Yeah, right. They, they look just like a peanut M&M. Okay. Well, no, you know what? They have that same... Oh, the color is different. They have the same shape as the M&M one. Okay. But yeah. Okay, so... Uh oh. Caramel. I like caramel a lot. So... I like warm, gooey caramel. This one is hard and cold. And it's really got that gritty caramel. Mm. It's more chewy than like that fudge brownie was. It's a texture thing for me. Five. Mmm. Ooh. I really like And then the caramel, everything melts off and you're stuck with just the caramel inner side. Mm. I don't or inner, them all. inner part. Mm, I don't like the grittiness. It matches a little bit of the fudge brownie, but with a caramel instead of chocolate undertone. No, I honestly thought I'd like this more than the original. Mm. And the caramel has a chemical-like processed flavor. It, do, it is very sticky, kind of. It is kind of sticky, and I'm not a big fan of stuff. You know what? That's too sticky. I'm amending my caramel to a three. No, I wouldn't buy you, that one. You again. would not get caramel. No, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even want a second one. I think I like this just below peanut butter, which is like a seven. So that would be a six, a right? Six. I get a six on this. Okay. So, sorry, little caramel. I had higher hopes, higher expectations. Well, today Time it's for a six. Key lime. Oh, pie. I got a rinse. Caramel has to go away. Hold on. Uh, it has to go away forever for me. And um, next, next up, my my pick. Key and lime. she she looks like she's vacationing what was your in Florida. Pick? Oh, you picked the snowballs, Look right? Look at that beautiful packaging, key lime pie. And I gotta say, key lime pie is one of my favorite desserts. Let's see what these. Oh, it's like a light salmon color and a light green color. Is there? I thought there was a darker color in there too. There is. Why don't you? Yeah, take let a me. Couple? I'll take a couple off. But it's like a pink. There you go. I got a little collection. I think that's supposed to be like the fake crust. Yeah, uh, I think the light color would be like your meringue. Right. And the other greens could be filling either way. There it goes up then. But it seems like they always do at least three colors. Yeah. So I'm really hopeful. Let's see if I was right. Hmm. The lime comes through. Hmm. Nope. I think um, I have to have a second one. The meringue, I pick up as well. You know what? I'm not disappointed with this. And it's not too limey. It doesn't have that lime acid type. No, it's it not. just has a, like a flavor. But a little goes a long way, like the mint for me here. I don't think I could eat a bag of that, or even a handful. To be honest, that second one was too much of key lime. You know why? Fresh key lime tastes fresh, fruity. This tastes like fake key lime. It will never well, be the same. Candy will never have that true, pure. Um, I do like it. I like peanut M&Ms better. I think I might even like regular. I want to put it even with peanut, but uh, with peanut butter. I think that's a seven for me. Four. And I'm gonna put it with peanut butter. Yeah. Now also. The one thing that's not really totally fair about this test, I am much more of a sweets person. So I'm probably gonna, my overall, I know my scores are gonna be higher. Just because I really enjoy my sweets. I shouldn't, but I love them. So, Speaking let's of you. Sweets, 
What are them? This one is honey graham, as in honey graham cereal, which I really like. We both like that cereal. And if it has so that let's cinnamon. See how, yeah. How close are they going to uh, get yeah. to a honey graham? That, that. Key lime, key you lime need to rinse it out. It, yeah. You got to rinse it. it. It is. Some of these flavors. Oh, these are interesting. They're small. Oh, very small. <laughs> They're little guys. Here, I'll put that one aside. But yeah, so much smaller than it. Uh, they're kind of lumpy. They're not smooth, but I guess because it's a honey, it's a graham, right? Is there a cookie in there? What do you think? Yep. There let me, is. Let me tell you. Oh, wow. Sweeter than the average M&M. Crunch factor is great. Really high. The flavor Crisp. is, the, I taste more chocolate than honey or graham, but they're good. Just a little too sweet for me. I don't find them overly sweet. You do. Mm-hmm. That texture really gets me, though. I like that texture. Uh, the crunch factor that is crunch great. That crunch is great. The honey graham gets a six from me. I'm going to go with a seven again. Okay. It's not too sweet for me. So you've, you've said honey graham and key lime are the same for you. Yeah. And I'm kind of surprised about the honey graham. But... Well, Let's, let's do this one, crunchy cookie. All right, now, we'll stay one, in the crunchy realm here. I think this one probably is, yeah, crunchy cookie. Again, small. They look like the same size. Oh, different colors. They have better colors. Better colors, like these are the same colors as a... Yeah, you can put a few in my hand, it's like, okay. It doesn't look any different than the classic no, M&M's, only a little bit there, but... rounder, see? No, I, I thought you had like blues and they must have regular. No, it's got every color. No, it's got green. all the colors, yeah. Even orange and it's brown. It's got all your usual... M&M okay. colors. Let's try it out. Crunchy cookie. All right, so this is supposed to be like a chocolate chip cookie, kind of. Or a cookie that has M &M the M&M's in it. Yep. Right. It's hmm. good. It's a little sweet. A little too sweet for me. That's no. probably why I like peanut M&M's so much. Because they don't taste as sweet. No. For me, I love the texture. They're not overly chocolatey. This is a, this is a solid eight. Nice. You're loving that one, huh? This is one of the best of the off flavors, the alternate flavors. And again, yeah. You can see little M and M man eating a M and M chocolate chip cookie. Okay. So now, I'm suspecting you're not going to like this one at all. What is it? Marshmallow. Oh. It's marshmallow crispy treat. So they really give you those Easter egg kind of colors. They give you that that little baby blue. In Marshmallow the, was never my thing. I was I was so growing up. There were kids who liked peeps and kids who didn't like peeps. I was not a peep girl. So well, this is marshmallow. I'm gonna take a big one. Doesn't taste like marshmallow. It's not marshmallow crispy treat. Hmm. This tastes good. But it's not marshmallowy. Tastes more like a like a um. White chocolate almost. Tastes like white chocolate and vanilla. With some vanilla, yeah. It's actually not sweet. And it's nice and crisp. It is the, the crispy part. Comes it has through. a nice um, finish too. The texture is nice. And it doesn't have that strong fake. That's right. Cookie and candy, you know, it's chemical taste. It's more subdued taste. than most of the other flavored This types. is an eight again for me. I'm really I will give this one a I'm, solid yeah, six. Yeah, I am. And you get an eight. Okay. Surprised, please. That one's good. Mm. Yeah, I'm surprised. Mm. Now that I've chewed it a little longer, I've had a few of them. I had three. I had one. That was I one. noticed the marshmallow part of it. Yeah, I never noticed the marshmallow part. Yeah, but you know what? It's not forward. It's one of those, it's You know, I there. don't like marshmallows, but I like crisp, those, those. Uh, S'mores? No, the marshmallow square is made with the Rice Krispies. Oh, I okay. I do like that. That's more like a Rice crispy flavor than marshmallow. And there's no dark chocolate in there at all, or regular milk chocolate. It's just, if, if there's a chocolate, yeah, it says right there, white chocolate. Yeah. So they did a nice job. So here we are, we are now, this was your pick. And white I'll, chocolate pretzel snowballs. And you know why? Because I loved those flips, that yogurt covered on, pretzel, chocolate covered pretzel. Oops, I'm dropping them. They're escaping. <laughs> but they have three colors. The blue, the white, and the dark blue. Oh, they're big. And they're really big. They're very round. Mmm, the crunch is awesome. You know, I like 
pretzels. I'm not a big pretzel person, but it really contains the sweet level. It's not super sweet. There's you a sweet a hint of salt of that too, and I like it. Yep. I don't like and it I, as much as peanut, but it's the closest to peanut for me. I am giving that a nine. Mmm, the white chocolate comes in last. Yes, in the end, you pick up the white chocolate. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm leaning towards peanut. What's, uh, what's the one below, an eight for me? Peanut? Peanut one. is nine. So yeah, so one below, it's as close to any. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half. This is truly the closest to to peanut. So what this means is so far, this is the best um, of the my, new flavors. Of the new flavors. Yeah. And we have one more left. And this one's gonna probably tug at your heartstrings, Dwayne, because you're such a coffee drinker. I Espresso. Know. I just need one. Because if the coffee flavor is gonna be really fake, it won't do it for me. I don't even like flavored coffees. I don't like flavored coffees. I like my coffee to taste like coffee. Espresso, are they all brown? They are not. Okay. Oh, they're shades of brown. And Look, that's a reddish magenta. brown. And there's a, like a beige and then a dark that must brown. That be like the foam of the espresso. The yeah, crema. it's an espresso like on top. Yep. Not sweet. Mmm. Chocolatey. Oh, the coffee comes through. Oh, and the coffee comes through. I have actually had these before. I, I bought them before, but Never had a chance to really compare them alongside others. Um, I like it. I'm even with peanut butter, so a seven for me. Yeah, I mm. like it, but I can't eat too many of those. I think it would be overly yeah. too much coffee flavor. So I'm gonna give espresso, you're giving it a seven, you said? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. About the same as and peanut give, butter. Um, I think I'll give them the six. Okay, so now, we have now we're in its course. How did your favorite pick weigh out? How did that come out? You my thought, favorite pick you the pretzel, turned out right? to be second. I, it, my favorite of the new one turned out to be the one I thought. You it actually would be. got it right. Yep. And like, mine was not. Not, not, not off bad, but I think we both ended up liking that white chocolate pretzel the best of all. And so we didn't match what the reviews on Eminem's site was saying fudge brownie was the best. But the number one, the number one rated for, from both of us, peanut with a 19 score. Yep, followed by the original, probably. Uh, well mm -hmm. the original got no, seven, 15, eight. something Only might 15. have. 15. No, this one got better, 16 for dark chocolate mint. Oh wow. Let's see if anything came out. Those anything 12, come that's that 13. High. Yes, right white there. chocolate pretzel. White chocolate pretzel is number 17. two. Number two. So, the first one is the original peanut M&M's. The second one is white chocolate pretzel, a new flavor for both of us. What they call snowballs. Snowballs. They call it an M&M, really, they do, but they call it dark snowballs. dark chocolate mint at 16. Oh my, was that these guys over here? No, that's the key lime. Guess what the bottom of the barrel was. Dark chocolate mint. What was the bottom of the barrel? Let me think. Uh, not the fudge, was it? No. Caramel. The caramel. It scored only nine. Really? No, because you really didn't go for it. I gave it a three. Yeah. And you only gave it a six. And then mine, the key lime pie, only ended up at 11. That's rather, between us, that's a pretty low combo score. Because we both like key lime. If we see it in a restaurant, we'll get that as a dessert. Every time. Yeah. So that's why I really had high hopes. Well, well there you have it. There you go, that's our take on it. I and guarantee you no two people are gonna give you the same scoring like we did, but the one thing that did, the originals have held up test of time. Absolutely. The they, classics. The classics are classics. After you know. a while. One thing, you get to share these, you gotta give them away. We have, we're, not, we're never gonna eat. No, I have a nice bowl at work, and I'm gonna be putting stuff in the bowl, and people come in and visit all the time. And they'll be taking M&Ms. And trying new flavors of m and trying new flavors. They'll really be trying because they are just so di And I'm going to put a bunch in a bowl and not tell them anything. Let them, rant, you know, potluck. <laughs> so it. there you go. So, thanks for watching. Please, if thanks. this is your first time here, um, welcome. Hello. And please subscribe. Hit that like button. And just so you know, um, we're nearing 10,000. We're near it, and we're gonna do our a first Q live Q&A. Q &A. Q &A. Yep. So 10,000 yep. subscribers, lots more coming up on Dwayne and Nidia Food Travel and Fun. We have 
four cruises booked. We have yep. um, a couple of vacations. A couple of other, travel yep. vacations. You're going up to Vegas again. And, and tons yep. of recipes and uh, restaurant reviews as well. So, and my new series, Dwayne's World of Wings. Yep. Which, by the time Once you watch this, you probably have already seen the first month. The first which we're one. Publishing this to last day tomorrow. of the month. Yeah, last day of the month. Yep, coming up. So, thanks once again. Uh, always a pleasure doing these things. We we Have love fun. it. We, hey, it's all about having fun with it. And, you know, and there's a lot of work behind it, so you better have some fun if you're going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Thanks. Till next, next time. time. See ya. Bye.